Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Simber and guys in today's video I would be unboxing and reviewing this GeForce GTX 1050 Ti which is the best budget graphic card according to me with feature level 12 that is DirectX 12. Guys I would wish unboxing it and also the gameplay that we get using it in game and guys before I start off I want you guys to subscribe to this channel as there are more awesome videos about to come and using this graphic card there would be some good gameplays coming to this channel like this video if you enjoy it and it if it was helpful to you guys in any way now without further ado guys let's get into the video So guys first of all we will just start unboxing this I will not be giving you the box overview so guys the place where you need to unbox is, is up over here at the top and as you can see over here I've already cut it so I'll just pull it out of here just like this and then I'll just set it like this because you will see it better so I'll just pull this up and guys as you can see first of all we get the CD in there the driver we need to download the drivers or you can download it from website as well and we've also given a Zotac gaming sticker as well that is also great to paste it on your CPU the outer case and here we have given a paper which says please download driver at HTTP the website link I will be giving it in the description as well and after that we have a quick installation guide and after that we have some this is our Zotac guys and then at the end guys we have our GPU so we'll just pull it out very carefully spend some good amount of money on it can't break it I'll just keep it over here and keep the box away and keep this away as well you know you don't need it for now and guys this is this GPU in this plastic cover we have the GPU and it is not that bad it feels good and guys I think you can see it yeah this is the GPU guys as you can see this is the top part with it have a fan on it this is not the OC edition it is just simple GTX 1050 Ti 4 GB one and as you can see the back of it and then Zotac over here this would be like this on your motherboard so you would see this part and here are all the ports the DVI port the DP port and HDMI port and again at the top and on this side we've just given some uh, model information and guys now that is it for the unboxing now it is time for the gaming test that is gameplay of Fortnite and Minecraft so guys I'm running Minecraft at 56 chunks and all of this is ticked and first of all I will show you without the shaders and then I will show you with the shaders so guys first of all as you can see I'm running it without shaders at 56 chunks I'll just wait for it to load I'll just search for the spyglass so that I can show you how far I can see and uh, you see the tree that tree is really far away and some of that is also really small which I am not able to see but with the standard distance of 56 chunks I can see really far and especially with the help of this new spyglass that Minecraft added in 1.17 you can really get the full performance out of this GPU with the spyglass and 56 chunks you can like really do some spying guys so guys now I have the world with the shaders and I am reducing my render distance to 16 chunks to get a good performance out of this GPU as you can see guys constant 60 FPS you can also get better FPS than me because it has a refresh rate of 60 Hertz and you guys might have a monitor that might not have it might be better now it is time for Fortnite so guys as you can see these are the settings that I would be running the game on and FPS meter is over here as you can see and guys the resolution would be 900p as my monitor supports 900p not 180p same as with the FPS it has a refresh rate of 60 Hertz so can't go over that but yes we can go to epic settings everything is epic except the shadows I kept I keep it off because I don't like them and then guys I'm running the rendering mode at direct X 12 and we sync motion blur FPS meter is off for Fortnite 
but I'm running this FPS meter. If you are wondering how you can see this FPS or this resource usage thing, then you can wait for the next Sunday and you guys can see the video where I tell you how to use this, how to show this in your gameplay. So guys as you can see I'm getting constant 60 FPS at epic settings that is as high as you can go and guys if you have a better monitor than me again which has a better refresh rate then you might also get better FPS and you would definitely get better FPS because when you are playing you would not be running OBS or any other screen recorder because that also takes some good amount of resources so yes this is giving more than desirable performance so thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope 
you learned something new from today's video and the GTX 1050 Ti is not a bad graphic card at all it is the entry level direct x12 graphic card and guys if you want a future proof graphic card then direct x12 is a must because upcoming games would be in direct x12 rather than the old direct x11 and guys be sure to leave a like if i was helpful to you guys and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more awesome content like this and guys be sure to tune in on next sunday at 5 30 ist if you want to know how you can get the fps meter that i have or any other thing that you need to note that's it for today guys we'll see you next time on let's play simmer